So chuckers in the background. Okay, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install a new Picatinny rail to my Summit rifle. And that way I can mount my Extreme Pod from Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear. This is a great bipod. Um, comes on and off easy with the Picatinny mount. That's one thing that's nice because I don't always wanna have a bipod on my rifle, but I can carry this thing in my pack and have it accessible really quickly. Super lightweight. Um, I'll kind of go over some of the specs on that a little bit later, but first things first, go ahead and pop this, this sling off and uh, put on the pick rail. All right, so we'll keep this simple. I'll kind of walk my way through it a little bit as I go. First thing, we're gonna go ahead and pop that guy off of there and uh, go ahead and back this off. The swivel mount off. And get everything out of its packet. It's got the instructions in here, which make it nice. Um, this one's a little bit more detailed. There are some easier ones to mount, but I like this design better because um, it has a lot less going on to it. It's a little bit more simple. It's a lower profile than some of the other ones that I've used in the past. And that's one thing that I like. It's also super lightweight, but it's it's because of the way we're going to install this, it's going to be fastened in there really solid. Um, and I don't have to worry about it coming loose with some of the other ones that are just attached to the swivel. First thing we're going to do is, is they included a extra swivel bolt that's a little bit longer to go through the Picatinny rail. And the way we're going to want to do that is on the pick rail, we've got the flat flat um, indent here, then we've got one that's more beveled and recessed, which is gonna be for the screw that's included. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this on there. I'm gonna use some, some thread locker, just cause I don't wanna have to do this twice. And what you wanna do is you wanna have this one forward because as the Picatinny, as your bipod mounts on the Picatinny, you wanna have your swivel bolt to the back where your sling can connect into it the best. So we're gonna go ahead and fasten this down, not all the way snug. We'll do that a little bit here in just a second, but I'll go ahead and get that fairly tight, um, hand tight, square it off. And once I get this squared off, you know, just eyeballed squared off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an eighth inch screw, uh, eighth inch drill bit. We're gonna go ahead and drill into the stock and fasten it down with the included screw that came with the pick rail. that thing going. What we wanted to do there is drill that eighth inch hole as a pilot hole so we don't split the stock and go ahead and get this started in there and fasten her down. If you don't feel comfortable doing this on your own, you know, I suggest just take it into a, a good gunsmith and I went ahead and used some epoxy on that, some five minute epoxy on there. Um, I just on the screw, not on the swivel stud. The swivel stud I use the thread locker because I want to be able to back that off if I need to, but to really get this, this screw to seat in there well and not to come loose, you're gonna to want to use some epoxy to get it in there. Lastly, we're just gonna firm this up. Should do her. That's right. All right, now that we've got that done, we just take our uh, pod, open it up, go ahead and can mount it on that pick rail just as quick as we want. You know, that's one nice feature with this, this system and this setup is you don't always have to have the pods on your, your rifle if you don't want it. You know, I generally don't unless I, I'm going to need them or if I'm out shooting like this, but it's a really nice bipod. I'll go over it a little bit, a little bit later, but it's designed on a swivel, a lot of functionality, one quick tighten. I mean, just really a nice set of pods. So 
I'll go over those in a little bit more detail a little bit later on.